We have team coverage of the deadly flash flood with Dylan Thomas, who's in the Poudre Canyon. Meteorologist Chris Spears in the Outdoor Weather Lab with what to expect today. But we'll start with Michaelia White, who went up the canyon with photographer Eddie Castro. Michaelia. Yes, uh, Mackenzie, we are right along Highway 14 and photojournalist Eddie Castro did make the 30 mile trek up here to Rustic. We can tell you they're only letting residents in and the service is pretty spotty up there. So you can see along the way the Poudre River just full of soot and you can see how dark it is and it's running really quickly right now. There's plenty of debris left over from that dangerous flash flooding that killed one person. Two others are still missing right now. We caught up with Bill Perkins, who has been camping along the river since Sunday night. He told us when the rain came through last night, he was told to go to higher ground, so he waited it out at a four-wheel drive park, then eventually drove back to get his things around midnight. We were concerned that we would maybe be stuck up here, you know, and all our stuff, but no, we're, we're smart enough to know we've been camping most of our lives when you cannot run a flood. I mean, you know, seriously, people, you don't drive in it and you certainly don't try and wait in it. You just go high and then when it's in the morning, figure out where you are and assess your situation. And we know there is still a risk for severe weather and potential flooding. I know Chris is going to have more on that in just a few minutes here. But for now, we're live in Larimer County, Michaelia White covering Colorado first.